Hi, welcome to another Cajun Toy Review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Iron Man Hologram Iron Man from the Ursa Major Wave. Uh, this is uh, a new figure, basically uh, an original mode, but a new uh, figure for Marvel Legends. We haven't had any kind of hologram version of Iron Man yet. Um, and this is a pretty neat looking figure. Um, I'm not one that I was excited about or, or, or uh, anticipating so much but having it in hand and stuff like that looking at it in the box and stuff like that it's definitely a cool looking figure with the uh, just that translucent blue with the white uh, lines and stuff line work it has going on it it looks pretty cool so um, I'm excited to talk about it I'm really excited to finish up this Ursa Major <laughs> Grizzly Bear Builder figure so um, we got two pieces left and this is the second to last and then I think we have an, a foot left with Stealth Iron Man which we'll be following this video so let's go ahead and uh, knock this one out and take a look at it so um Got the classic, the little Iron Man logo we've seen on the uh, figure so far in this wave, hologram Iron Man there. We can see it comes with two uh, repulsor effects um, and some different fisted hands uh, and our big old build figure piece in there looking nice. On the side we got that shot of our hologram Iron Man uh, repeats on this side. On the top we got the Iron Man logo. On the back uh, we got a little uh, shot of the hologram for Iron Man and a little bit of a read up. Ever the innovator, Tony Stark takes flight in holographic form, a computer generated avatar, enduring force for good. And here's the other figures in that wave, uh, including our builder figure, we're almost there. Uh, we got our modular Iron Man we've done, uh, Guardsman, uh, S S Dark Star, Ironheart, we're doing the hologram now, and Ultron, and then we'll wrap it up with Stealth Iron Man. So uh, not much to say about that. Uh, UPC will be in the pictures at the end if you want it or need it. But uh, nothing less to say. So let's go ahead and break out our hologram Iron Man and check it out. Okay, take a look at our hologram Iron Man, and uh, this is this is a cool looking thing. Um, now there is a version of Iron Man, a future ver version of Iron Man, where he actually has a a hologram version of him. And, uh, but I don't. I feel like this is supposed to be more of a modern like. I, like a picture of this is like Tony like working on the suit kind of Iron Man um, and that's what I'm gonna use it for it's gonna be if they ever actually release a decent um, Hall of Armor or something like that uh, this is gonna be like on either on a table or something cool like that where like Tony working on it which like we see, see in the MCU um, and yeah I know they had the one that was on Disney uh, the Disney store you don't have to put that in the comments that but it wasn't made for that it works but uh, maybe like you know a Haslab or something later on, we'll get like a, something cool. Now um, this is you know, translucent plastic, and I think I've seen online where somebody actually took this apart and put LEDs inside of it. I'm not uh, going to attempt to do that. Um, I did kind of experiment with some lights on it, and there's nothing really. It's kind of a thick plastic, so nothing lo really looks really great uh, sticking through it. I did kind of run a, a, like a flashlight on the back of it and some other stuff like that, and um, just to kind of get a look for it. And uh, I'll do that real quick. What I did, um, and uh, it's the experimentation. I just did this really fast on the fly, so uh, this is probably gonna look a little strange. But um, just kind of put a light behind it, just to kind of give it a little bit. Um, and it was need to tilt Hit some lights real quick for you guys. And you would have to kind of set something up, but. but there is potential there uh, you can kind of get some lights going on and stuff like that but that's just me using like a little small light um, but having light even coming through the bottom of it it's not strong enough to translucent but there's there's potential there so something like that might be kind of cool um, rig something up like that uh, but Anyway, that's just something I was doing with it while I was kind of like setting it up to take a look at it. Um, if you guys think do anything else with it or whatever, uh, put it in the comments and stuff. I'd like to know. So, um, like I said, cool looking figure. This is based off the Mark 47, which was the original uh, Spider-Man um, uh, Homecoming uh, armor suit that came with uh, Peter Parker. That is one of the legends I sets I don't have. Uh, that happened came out when Toys R Us was kind of closing and I missed it. Uh, I would like to get it down the line, but anyway, um, that's the armor's like that. So uh, we'll look at the figure. Let's look at the accessories that it does come with. All right, so our hologram Iron Man comes with uh, 
two sets of hands and then two kind of repulsor kind of blaster effects uh, as well. Um, the open repulsor hands are really nice looking. I, I love the, the blue one and stuff like that. Uh, they do have a little bit of white line work on there, which looks really good. Um, but it's translucent when you get to the fingers and everything. There is the hole in there, so you can actually port in the uh, repulsor effect if you like with that. Um, so that's cool. Uh, fist of hands, same. There is a detail on there on the top with uh, it's got kind of like basically um, looks like a little uh, octagon or something on top of it. But we've got some light white line work on there as well, and then uh, you can see where the repulsors would be on there as well. So that's pretty cool looking. And then we have our, our repulsor or blast effects, whatever you want to call them, right here and there, like this translucent blue with this kind of like a splash coming off of it. Um, these are actually different from the ones that came with Ironheart. So um, hers are a lot smaller with the uh, splash effect and stuff on it, which is really cool. Um, with what I'm probably going to do with my figure, I use it as a display and not actual uh, an, a figure itself, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm probably going to give these other sets to either her or another character uh, for a more better display. But uh, I do like that they're different. I, uh, I didn't notice that at first until I actually kind of lined them up. So that's pretty cool too. But uh, that's basically the accessories that come with it. So let's take a look at the figure. Alright, and our hologram Iron Man figure. Oh, looking awesome. I really like the line work on it. It really makes this figure stand out. Basically all it is is translucent plastic. Uh, of a pretty existing figure we've already had, the Iron Man 47, uh, like I said, which is the one that came with the original Homecoming. It was kind of that red and kind of gray armor. It'll be a picture in there for you. Um, which was a cool suit. Um, it was an interesting color scheme for Iron Man as well. And uh, I think it does lend really well for uh, this figure in this kind of, in this mold with this color scheme and stuff like that. So, um, Looking at the paint, I mean, there is not much to say on there. Uh, the line work on the front of it looks really, really good. Uh, you know, with the face and everything and stuff like that. It just, it really makes everything kind of pop on there and just uh, really neat. But when we turn him around, none on the back, not a single line on it. And that sucks. Uh, that's just, I don't know. It needed some stuff here and everything and stuff like that. There's just so much going on on Iron Man. And um, it's a shame that we did not see full... Uh, wrap around on this figure and other you know on the elbows some some right here would have been really nice to kind of see some white lines um, a little bit over here but it just sucks that it's only on the front of this figure uh, that is a shame so um, let's look at his articulation on him so you can look up decent uh, like I said not going to be flying with this Iron Man either um, down again really really good on that figure um, rotation there's not much of a rock or anything on that old a little bit now I thought these shoulder pads came out and moved but they don't they're put they're glued on there so uh, but you do have full rotation on the arms there is a bicep swivel it's not hindered by the uh, shoulder pads either um, elbow there is a jo double joint in there but the way this is made that is limited and we do have a wrist rotation with ankle I mean sorry with a wrist uh, pivot on there and also on the repulsor hands itself uh, there is a pivot on there so that's really nice um, that's really good because it sucks when they leave that out, especially on an Iron Man character uh, figure. So, uh, he doesn't have an ab crunch. And not much of a back. Forward, very little either. Um, mine has a little bit of a speck of white, too. Yeah, right there. Um, just a little bit. You don't notice it unless you do the ab crunch. There is no uh, no waist rotation on this guy either. We do have a thigh cut with a high boot on there. Can't really kick much at all. Uh, not gonna have any splits, but these two little points right here kind of connect, and it's gonna start rubbing. Um, there is a double jointed knee, 
and there is an ankle there's no uh, calf rotation on this guy this is all one solid piece um, and there is a little bit of an ankle pivot not very much at all on this guy um, also the knees uh, they're very ratchety uh, it does have peg holes on the bottom and the low effects of the repulsors which is nice so overall it's a cool figure um, if it wasn't part of the wave, it wouldn't have been like a, a dire thing. I, you know, I could have waited on and stuff like that. Um, this would have been a figure that I, I, I don't, I wouldn't have passed on it because it's an Iron Man figure and stuff like that. But um, I, it wouldn't have been my first. It would have been my last pur purchase probably from this wave because it's a little dull. Um, like I said, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this as a display uh, with my Tony and stuff like that. And eventually have my lab or whatever set up. Um, but I'm glad I got it. Uh, it makes me miss, I had the Mark 47 a little bit more, so, anyway. Uh, what's your thoughts on this figure, guys? If you know, this is, uh, one that you guys picked up, uh, you know, we'll pick up, or, you know, um, anything like that. Uh, if there's any other figures you want to see, you know, take requests, go ahead and put that in the comments. If you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, next video will be Stealth Iron Man, gonna wrap up this series and then do, uh, the Builder figure, Ursa Major, plus kind of just the lineup of the figures from this wave with uh, what I think is uh, the best to worst. So um, look forward to that. Uh, that should all be up relatively soon after you see this video. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourself.